Hi, welcome to Dean's Kitchen. My name is Siobhan Ingram and today I'm going to be showing you a fabulous recipe for a sweet treat called Rocky Road. Lots of wonderful ingredients in this one, chocolate, cherries, marshmallows, biscuits, so lots and lots of calories. So if you're counting calories, this might not be for you, but it's a delicious treat and one that I really hope that you're going to enjoy. One of the main ingredients in this Rocky Road is our lovely oat and sultana and honey biscuits. So let me just tell you a little bit about that before we start. We've got here a display of our oat biscuits for you to have a look at. You might be familiar with them already. All based on Scottish oats with delicious butter and lots of other delicious ingredients. Uh, we've got a ginger variety, a coconut one, apple and cranberry, our standard oat one and also a sultana and honey version as well. And it's the sultana and honey one that I'm going to be using in our Rocky Road today. As you can see, we've taken some out of the pack just to let you see them here. Just like homemade, just like your granny would have made at home. Lovely, light, crisp, sweet oat biscuits flavoured with lovely heather honey, Scottish heather honey and some sultanas. So a really fabulous biscuit to enjoy with a cup of tea or whatever. OK, so moving on to the recipe. In my pan here, I've already got melted some butter and golden syrup. So you just want to have a wee look and see. Ready melted down in this nice big pan. I'm using a nice big pan because we've got lots of ingredients to mix in there. So that's nice and hot. And as I mentioned already, lots of fabulous ingredients, including this bowl of milk chocolate. So lots of chocolate. So pop that in, like so. OK. And the heat of the pan with the butter and the syrup, the hot butter and syrup, should be enough to melt this chocolate. If not, just pop it back on, on the heat or a very, very low heat just for a minute or two to, to help it along. But there should be enough heat in the pan. And once that's melted, we'll mix in all the other ingredients. So that's our chocolate now melted. As you can see, we've got a lovely thick, glossy mix of melted chocolate, butter and golden syrup ready for us now to put the rest of our ingredients in. So let's start with our biscuit pieces. So as I mentioned already, we've got our lovely sultana and heather honey biscuits broken into quite rough chunks because remember it's rocky road so it's got to look quite rough and ready. So nice big chunky pieces that is what we want. So we've broken them up just, just into you know, bite sized pieces if you like. So we'll pop those in along with the crumbs in the bottom, that's fine. And just give that a wee bit of a stir around. The idea being that you coat everything with a chocolate mix. So that's the biscuits in there. Okay, so next up, we've got some mini marshmallows. And these are the ones, obviously, you can buy in the supermarket in packets, just little pieces, perfect for popping into your hot chocolate or for recipes like this. So we've got those going in next. And again, just give them a stir around. Now, if you've got kids who love to bake, this would be perfect for children's baking. Uh, because it's very, very simple and it's got all the stuff that kids love. So the sweeter and the gooier and the messier, the better. So they would love this recipe. So if you've got some time to bake with your kids, this is definitely one for them to enjoy. OK, so that's our marshmallows in. Next up, we've got some mini fudge pieces. And again, you can buy these in bags from the supermarket. So they're just chopped up little bits of fudge. So we'll pop those in as if it wasn't sweet enough already. We're popping those in next. Just get them all out. There we go. OK, so again, another quick stir just to get them coated as well. And then last but not least, we're going to pop in some glassy cherries. And we've got them prepared in a bowl here as well. And these are just nice glassy cherries. Again, you can buy them in tubs from the supermarket. Give them a quick rinse and dry and then just quarter them and pop those in. We just need to help them a little bit sticky. So we'll get those out of there. And again, mix those round. And Make sure you've got everything nicely coated with a chocolate mix. And then it'll be ready to pop into our tray. So as you can see, in the pan are fudge pieces, biscuits, cherries, marshmallows are all nicely coated with chocolate mix. So the next stage now is to pop it into a tray. And here I've got a nice deep baking tray that's already been lined with baking parchment. So we'll tip the chocolatey mix into the tray. So here goes. It's lovely and thick and gooey and it sets into a really wicked chocolatey treat. So as I said already, your kids would love this, I'm sure. Okay, just about there. Make sure you get it all out. Or, although I'm sure there'll be plenty of volunteers to lick the pan for this one. Right, that's it all out. So once you've got it all out, you just take the back of your spatula and just press it down into the corners of the tin. A nice bendy spatula is the perfect tool for this job. 
keep it nice and rough looking as well because it's, it's rocky road and you want it to look nice and chunky and see all the different bits of goodies in there. Okay, so we'll press it down like so and then you need to have a little bit of patience and leave it to sit in the fridge to chill. Our Rocky Road is now nicely set, it's been in the fridge for a while and it's got a lovely glossy sheen so lots of uh, lovely chocolate in there giving it a lovely lovely shine. So we're just going to finish this off now with a drizzle of white chocolate as if there wasn't enough chocolate in it already. We're going to add a little bit more. So I've got white chocolate here that's been melted just in the microwave on a low setting and I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to drizzle white chocolate over the top like so. Quite rough and ready, it doesn't need to be too perfect, you just want a nice thick drizzling of white chocolate and again as I mentioned before if you've got keen kids who like to cook this is a job certainly for them so just keep going back and forth across the tray with your fork like so and get a nice covering of white chocolate there we go and then once you've done that you pop it back in the fridge again just for a few minutes really just to let that white chocolate set and then it's ready to cut and to serve. So moving over here we've got some that we prepared earlier. So here we have some cut into squares, it looks absolutely gorgeous, lovely colours, you can see the pink of the marshmallows and the cherries and the chocolate and the biscuit chunks going on there. And just to recap I've used our Sultana and Heather Honey Oat Biscuit uh, for this recipe, a uh, delicious biscuit to have on its own or made into Rocky Road, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you want to try it at home that would be great, we'd love to see your results so have a shot of this recipe and post your photos etc on Facebook and let us know how you get on. Look out for our oat biscuits in your local supermarket, they're widely available um, and in gift shops and fine food shops as well or you can buy them online at deans.co.uk.